Hey everyone, Pratima here. So I was scrolling through our older videos and I realized that we have not done that many fitness band reviews in 2022. Whereas the number of budget smartwatch videos on our channel has just shot up in the past year. Obviously, I've got nothing against fitness bands, but the wearable industry has been steadily phasing them out in favor of smartwatches instead, especially in the budget category. As a result, fitness bands have evolved to mimic smartwatches in many ways. Hence, most fitness bands in 2022 can be easily mistaken for a smartwatch because of their bolder look. And since these guys bring stronger fitness tracking features and a particularly better software experience compared to most budget smartwatches, I still think fitness bands are worth it in 2022. So in this video, I will be going through my top picks for the best budget fitness trackers under $50 or 5,000 rupees that you can get right now, starting with the Mi Band 7, aka the Xiaomi Smart Band 7. Xiaomi's Mi Band lineup has had a big hand in popularizing fitness trackers and its latest iteration spectacularly carries that legacy. While the rest of the competition with their newest fitness bands have tried to move as close to the smartwatch territory as possible, this guy arrives in the same old narrow capsule shape design. This means that the UI elements including text, icons and such look pretty stuffed on this AMOLED display. But I think such a bracelet-like form factor has few benefits of its own. I've heard from many people how traditional smartwatches are a bit too bulky for their wrists and they would rather prefer something much slimmer. So if you are one of those people, I am sure you will have no problem with how the Mi Band 7 looks and feels in your hand. Likewise, it supports everything from heart rate, stress and sleep to even all day blood oxygen monitoring. And in terms of fitness tracking as well, there's a lot to get excited about here. Xiaomi lets you create this fun sort of competition among your friends and family to motivate you and everyone else to stay healthier. Taking it a step further is the Personal Activity Index or Pi Training Effect Analysis and Recovery Session Analysis which aims to have you exercising more often and more readily. The Mi Band 7 can also track over 110 sports modes and all the issues that it had during the launch like um, auto pause feature not working has been fixed too. Anyway, if you prefer something more uh, modern looking instead, then the Redmi Smart Band Pro is a good choice. It's uh, pretty much a redesigned Mi Band 7 but with a wider display alongside some additional features. And unfortunately, some questionable omissions too. For example, stuff like Pi, Training Effect Review and Recovery Sessions that I talked about the Mi Band 7 are some really handy tools if you're serious about fitness tracking. But neither of them is available on the Redmi Smart Band Pro. Plus, although it can record your blood oxygen levels throughout the night, it cannot do it 24-7. But then again, for most people who just want a casual fitness tracker and nothing more, this is something that you should be able to look past quite easily. And not to mention, the Redmi Smart Band Pro is also the cheapest entry on our list at just 3,800 Indian rupees. Either way, its wider screen makes navigating through the UI a lot more pleasant. And I must say that Xiaomi has done a great job of designing the software for this form factor. Whether it's text layouts or animations, everything looks so well organized here. Plus, unlike every other fitness band on our list, it even supports automatic brightness adjustment. Not having to manually adjust brightness levels every now and then might seem like a really small thing, but as I've found, it can actually make using a band significantly simpler. Other than this, the Redmi Smart Band Pro handles fitness tracking pretty well. It uh, detected my walking workouts on its own and was able to automatically pause or resume them too. Now, distance tracking is slightly off here versus other bands that I tested it against and I also found that its sleep tracking is not that reliable. While the band gets my time to bed and the time I get up accurately enough, it consistently fails to log my awake cycles. I have addressed this issue in multiple Xiaomi and Redmi smartwatches before, so at this point, I am not sure if it's something the company can fix with a software update. Okay, like Xiaomi, Huawei is also another popular name in the wearable industry and the new Huawei Band 7 is a fantastic fitness tracker as well. 
if you remember, it's a predecessor, the Huawei Band 6. It was quite impressive fitness tracker, but this year Huawei has been a little lazy with the upgrades. Apart from always-on display support and the dismissibly thinner design, it is identical to last year's Huawei Band 6. So on that note, if you don't care about either of those upgrades, I would suggest you save some money and get the Band 6 instead, which is currently available at a discounted price. The cheaper Honor Band 6 is a good buy too since it is almost the exact same as the Huawei Band 6. It did not have all the SPO2 monitoring or 95 workout modes at launch, but Honor has already updated the Band 6 with both of these features a while ago. Anyway, one of the main reasons why I love the Huawei Band 7 is its design. Available in a handful of color options, Huawei has also gone the extra mile to match the color of the case with the strap. I'm also a big fan of this uh, conventional pin buckle strap over the sports strap that you'd find in most other fitness bands. And uh, perhaps the biggest design win of the Huawei Band 7 is its physical buttons. With this, I can quickly launch the workout menu or go to the home screen without excessive swiping. It's just so instinctive that other brands' decision to go minimalistic and buttonless feels a bit impractical. One more thing, although the Huawei Band 7's battery life is on par with most of the competition, it's the only one to support fast charging. With that, you can get two days of battery life with just five minutes of charge. Sweet. In addition to the design and charging speed, its health and fitness tracking abilities are equally first class. Besides all the regular health monitoring functions, I found the Band 7's healthy living feature to be especially useful. It is similar to the Pi Index on Xiaomi or Amazfit fitness trackers, but instead of just factoring in heart rate intensive activities throughout the day, this feature also considers your sleep cycle, stress level, and more to help you maintain a healthy lifestyle. Huawei's well-optimized software also deserves a special shout-out. Getting around the band's UI feels smooth, and its companion app is also some of the best that I've seen. However, I did come across a familiar bug here. It can detect my workouts just fine, but it cannot automatically pause or resume them. So hopefully, Huawei will fix it with a future firmware update. Finally, my choice for the best fitness tracker in 2022 is this guy, the Amazfit Band 7. It arrives in a pretty basic looking package like this, but it's all the software expertise buried inside that makes the Amazfit Band 7 an excellent activity tracker. Amazfit's custom Zep OS platform deserves all the credit too. It is incredibly responsive, it is feature-rich, well-polished, and just fun to use overall. Take a look at this for example. I am currently on the sleep widget on all these fitness bands and while the Amazfit Band 7 lets me view more details about my sleep right there with just a simple click, I have to go and open the sleep app on other bands for this information. It also lets me play with a bunch of settings from the band itself without having to open up my phone. Now that reminds me, the Amazfit Band 7 even supports Amazon Alexa. It's not the most elegant way to interact with a voice assistant, but hey, at least it works about 70% of the time. And other than proper UI optimizations, Zep OS comes with some unique health monitoring features too, like the one-tap measurement which records your heart rate, stress and blood oxygen levels all in one sitting. Aside from that, it can log everything from your heart rate, stress and SpO2 levels on a 24-hour basis. I found its sleep tracking to be plenty reliable as well. As for the fitness tracking options, the Band 7 supports 120 sports modes and there is no problem with workout detection or automatically pausing them. The battery life on the Amazfit Band 7 is also slightly better than the competition, managing to last roughly a couple of days more than the competition. So that was all for my topics for the best budget fitness bands under $50 or some 5,000 rupees in India. Like I said in the beginning, although affordable smartwatches have absolutely taken the wearable industry by storm, activity trackers like these still have a place in 2022. And if you put reliable software and extensive fitness monitoring above a fancier design and everything else, then I think getting a fitness band makes most sense. 
So that was all for this video. Do let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite among the bunch of fitness trackers that I talked about. Uh, till then, I'm Pratima Adhikari and I will see you in my next video.